It is finally time to learn about another type of loop, the for each loop. As you know, we can use a classic for loop to iterate over a T array. We basically use the indices to determine where to start and stop. If you encounter the case that you want to iterate over every element inside a T array, a for each loop can solve the task. You can construct a for each loop like this. First, you have also the for keyword. Then the data type of the data that is stored in your T-array. Then a variable name, how you want to address the current element that is selected by the for each loop. Next, you use the colon operator and lastly, the structure on which you want to iterate over. So in our case, the name of our T-array. As you can see, we iterate over every element that is stored in the T-array and can perform operations with it. However, when you change the value of the element, you will see that it does not influence the value that is stored in the T-array itself. If this happens, since we are using a for each loop like this, that makes use of copying each element for iteration. Therefore, applying changes to the copy doesn't affect the original. If we want to affect the original value that is stored in the T-array, we have to make use of references again. We just have to add the reference operator after the data type and then you can see that our changes apply to the original. But like with methods, there might be the case that you want to use references just for performance reasons and not to change the original value stored in a T-array. For that, you can also just add a const keyword in front of the variable and basically indicate that you only want to read the values but not change them. Two additional informations. First, when you are using a for each loop, it is better not to modify the size of the T-array. What do I mean by that? Basically not adding or removing elements because that can lead to bugs or even crashes. And similar to other loops, we can use the break keyword to leave this for each loop earlier. For today's exercise, just create a T-array that contains several integers. Then use a for each loop to iterate over the T-array and overwrite each value by multiplying each value with itself. So basically getting the square of the number that is stored. Then in another for each loop print the updated values until you find a value that is greater than 10. Like always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, see you next time.